Well, hello. Welcome back to Blackberry Ridge. It's Vivian Ann on the side of the mountain. We are going to be talking today about using our tomatoes and making tomato sauce. My tomato plants that I use are called indeterminate tomatoes, which means they continue to bloom throughout a season. All the tomatoes do not come on the vines at one time. If it comes on at one time, any plant that is called determinate, which means the time is determined for the plant to be producing. What I am showing you here is um, bags of tomatoes that I have just taken the core, the little top of the core off, and I have frozen them. Just put them in a bag, put them in the freezer. Didn't do anything special to them, just washed them. You know, took the little bloom off the top and the bottom and put them, put them in, the, in a bag, put them in the freezer. Then when I have enough tomatoes that are saved, um, then I go and I do something with them. Because when I do sauces or um, paste, um, tomato soup, uh, pizza sauce, any of that, I want to have my canner as full as possible because I don't want to use up all my propane doing little tiny batches. So what we have going here is... Um, the tomatoes that are frozen. So these are just oh, this is kind of heavy. So these are just frozen. And what I have done is that I have put them in my um, pot that I use for water bath canning, and um, I have a uh, low flame going, and I just have them in here. I'm just going to kind of warm up the water a little bit so that these can thaw. We'll get back in a little bit. What I use to process my tomatoes or a lot of my, my vegetables with um, applesauce, anything that I need to have, you know, smushed, um, then I use what this. As you can see from the condition of this box, this is not new. This is something that I have been using for, I don't know, six, seven, eight years for a little while. This is a Victorio food strainer. And it's like one of my right hands. Now, it does come with what's called the tomato applesauce strainer. And then they also make an accessory kit, which I also own. And this comes with the berry screen, the pumpkin screen, um, the grape spiral, and the salsa screen. Extra course. Sometimes when I'm doing my sauce, I will use the salsa screen, just to let you know. Um, I have already been using this. It, it looks a little bit of a mess, <laughs> but this is this is how it goes when it's when it's together. Um, the sauce comes out through here. You put the tomatoes in this part, plunge it down. The sauce comes through here, and the peels and seeds comes out here. And I already have. Um, about six cups, this is one of those big uh, things, about six cups of sauce. Now we're going to be working towards getting about oh, 40 or 50 cups of sauce. So that's, and then we're going to cook it down. We'll be right back. Okay, we got Ambria here working. Turn in the crank. We have tomatoes in the hopper. The crank gets turned and the sauce and juice flows down through and the waste comes through here. <clears throat> Put in some more tomatoes into the hopper. Now just to let you know, on the frozen tomatoes, that the peels will automatically come off. come off of the frozen tomatoes as soon as they thaw. And not all tomato juice is red. It's also clearish like water. Mm-hmm. I learned that last year when we were doing stuff. So we're going to keep going until we get all of our tomatoes processed. But that's all there is to this. And as you can see... Stop for just one second, baby girl, because I have to let go of this. 
as you can see from this waste product that's here all that is in here is seeds and peels and that's not really a waste product that's not a good terminology to use for that because this is going to be going to our um, uh, chickens and they are going to go nuts when they see this our chickens love this so we'll get back like I say we have uh, we're going to do about 30 or 40 cups and I'll take you back to the stove when we get to there okay the next step is we've gotten eight cups of our um, juice, pulp, whatever you want to call it. No skins, no seeds in it. So we've got eight cups, and I have a stainless steel pot, and I'm just going to pour this juice into this stainless steel pot, and we're going to do it eight cups at a time, put in here. I'm going to go ahead and get the fire underneath it, and get it started and then we'll just keep adding our juice to it because this needs to cu um, cook down by about half so it's, it's a little bit of a process but this needs to cook down to about half and uh, we're going to continue until we have all of our tomatoes um, both the fresh ones and the frozen ones um, totally turned into this juicy pulpy stuff and then we'll, we're going to cook this down and then I am going to water bath can it. We'll get back with you at that point.